Hi, welcome to We Are Kind. Today we are talking about a topic that might surprise you. How to handle it when someone claims God or even a great figure from the Bible like Moses told them who you should vote for? Have you ever felt uncertain when you hear God spoke to me about this candidate or wondered can I believe that This message is all about navigating these claims and understanding what God truly wants from us when we make important choices Stick around because we will look at some bible passages that empower us to think for ourselves seek God personally and grow in wisdom rather than being swayed by impressive but unverified claims by the end you will equip to make decisions rooted in your own relationship with God God values our individual ability to think and decide the bible repeatedly affirms that God has given each of us a mind to think deeply and make wise choices. Romans chapter 12 verse 2 reminds us, don't copy the behavior and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. God calls us to develop our understanding, not simply follow others. This passage emphasizes that transformation and growth in faith comes when we allow God to shape our thinking directly not by taking shortcuts and blindly trusting what others claim to know on his behalf God wants each of us to build a relationship with him that's rooted in personal prayer study and wisdom When it comes to something as significant as voting, it's up to us to make the choice using the mind and heart God has given us. Trusting ourselves to make wise decisions is a powerful form of faith in action. Imagine a parent teaching a child to walk. They don't want the child to be carried forever. They want them to walk on their own. to grow strong and confident that's how god wants us to handle our decisions he has given us the tools and now it's up to us to walk in his wisdom beware of claims that god or others are directly speaking to us about voting jesus cautioned us about trusting just anyone who claims to have a special word from god matthew chapter 24 verse 24 says for false messiahs and false prophets will rise up and perform great signs and wonders so as to mislead if possible even god's chosen ones jesus himself warned us to be careful about people who might mislead even those who seems very impressive or who make grand statements this is not to make us suspicious but to help us be wise and intentional history shows us that people have often used god's name to influence others but god's wisdom tells us to test these statements carefully jesus warning serves as a reminder that god does not work through intimidation or pressure his guidance is gentle wise and often aligns with what he has already shown us in scripture think about the story of berians in acts 17 verse 11 they did not just believe everything they were told they examined the scriptures every day to see if what paul said was true this is a powerful example for us Whenever someone claims to speak for God we can go to the Bible ourselves to verify if it aligns with his word or his values rely on God's timings teachings rather than new or unverifiable claims 
the bible offers as a road map for understanding god's heart and his values in micah 6 verse 8 god tells us what he desires to do what is right to love mercy and to walk humbly with your god this simple but powerful statement gives us insight into the type of leaders and qualities god values when we are faced with decisions about who to support we can use this guidance as a foundation instead of relying on others statements about god's desires we can look for candidates or choices that express god's value honesty humility fairness and mercy honesty involves being truthful and transparent to one's action and words humility is the quality of being humble and recognizing one's limitations while valuing others contributions fairness means treating everyone equally and without partiality it involves making decisions that are just and fair rather than letting personal feelings or partiality influence those choices mercy is the ability to show compassion and forgiveness especially when it is within one's power to punish or harm the bible invites us to seek these values directly without needing anyone else to interpret them for us when we look for leaders who reflect god's love and justice we are honoring his teachings more than if we were just following other person's claims imagine going on a journey with a reliable map the map is clear and tested it has all the landmarks you need to get to your destination now imagine someone on the road saying oh i know a shortcut that is not on the map would not you be cautious in the same way god has already given a map of values and wisdom in his word we don't need anyone else to give us a shortcut or what's right or wrong don't be influenced by charismatic or bold claims the bible advises us to be careful and grand claims galatians chapter 1 verse 8 is a powerful reminder let god's curse fall on anyone including us or even an angel from heaven who preaches a different kind of gospel than the one we preach to you this verse shows us that even if a message seems powerful or extraordinary we should weigh it against god's consistent message paul warns us that flashy or dramatic claims can sometimes be distractions leading us away from god's truth god has given us scripture his spirit and our community to help us understand his will if someone claims that god told them to tell you what to do take a step back consider whether their message aligns with what you know about god's love humility and wisdom god is not interested in confusing us he wants to guide us clearly and with purpose in the story of elia God spoke to him not through an earthquake or a fire but through a still small voice first kings chapter 19 verse 12 God's true messages are often soft and come from a place of peace rather than showiness trust your own relationship with God and his guidance in your heart each of us has the opportunity to know God personally and he wants us to seek him for ourselves Philippians chapter 2 verse 12 says continue to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling this verse encourages us to take personal responsibility for our relationship with god it is not about relying on others experiences or visions it's about our direct connection to god through prayer worship and obedience voting and decision making are personal matters that can be guided by our relationship with god the bible says in james chapter 1 verse 5 if any of you lacks wisdom let him ask god who gives generously 
to all without reproach and it will be given him if we see god with an open heart his promises to give us wisdom and guidance think about how a loving parent guides a child they might give advice provide examples and encourage them to make wise choices but they don't make every decision for them in the same way god equips us with everything we need to make good choices and trust us to walk in that wisdom friends we live in a time where people might try to sway us by claiming special insight or divine messages let's remember that god has given us everything we need his word his spirit and a mind to think for ourselves the next time someone claims to have a message from god about who to vote for take a moment to pray seek the truth and trust your own relationship with god he is more than willing to guide you personally thank you so much for joining me today and may you always walk in god's wisdom and peace as you make each decision may god bless you see you in the next video take care bye